Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I wanted to talk about BYND, or Beyond Meat. And I kind of wanted to give my views on where I believe the stock could potentially be headed, and the price we might see over the next coming weeks to days. So right now we have a pretty interesting setup here. Since we did see these March lows back here, we've actually kind of started to make a 5 wave cycle higher off those lows. We've kind of made this first wave here, this second wave here, this third wave here, this fourth wave here, and then this fifth wave here. And ever since then, the stock price has kind of built out this flat ABC wave. So now it would kind of make sense for the stock to make another 5 wave cycle higher here. That's usually what you're going to get in an ABC wave in a zigzag trend. You're usually going to see another 5 wave cycle higher. I do think there is a level of psychological demand below because we had these pivots back here that we actually broke below ran stops below them, and then we broke back above them, and then that was your bottom. So you do have a level of psychological demand below pushing the stock price higher because basically everyone got stopped out of the trade when we broke below these lows back here. I think on a short-term basis, we could potentially see a move back to these highs here at 166. That would kind of set up a cup and handle here. And after we come into those highs, I think there's a very good chance we see a retrace and then potentially a push to new highs. So there's a couple ways you can kind of go around trading this. So for instance, you could just take a position here and use this $143 level as your stop loss if you don't want to wait. Totally an option. You could totally take a position against this $143 level, stop out if we see below this level. You'd be risking about 9 points, and I think there's a good chance we see a push up to that 161.8% extension, setting at 197. Again, usually what you're going to get after a breakout of a range is a push to that 161.8% extension before supply comes in. You also could have some short-term supply come in at that 186 level. So the way you could go around trading this is you put your risk versus this 143 level. You're risking about 8 points, and you're looking for about 50 points in profit. So you've got a pretty decent risk reward, about a 1 to 7 risk reward in this trade. If I was to take this position here, I would definitely look to trim half into that 186 level, raise your stop to break even, that way you can't lose, and then you would get a risk-free ride to that 161.8% extension, sitting right at about 200 a share. Again, I think there's a good chance we do see that level overall. Shorter term, it could come into some significant supply at these recent highs, build out that second wave, probably down to around the 38.2% retracement of this range here, and then we'd see a third wave and a push to new highs. I think there's a really good chance we do kind of see supply come in at those highs, and then we retrace some, kind of building out that second wave. The way I'd probably look to go around trading this myself is I'd wait for the price to actually reach these highs, retrace down to that 38.2% retracement, then take the position and put my risk versus these highs here, and then I would look for that third wave to around 200 a share. Again, trimming happened to that 186 level, and then selling the rest into that $200 level. Anyways, yeah, that's kind of my views on this stock. I think there's a good chance we see another 5-wave cycle higher here since we built out this flat ABC wave, and we should see a push to that 161.8% extension of this range we have here, which sits right at about 197. Shorter term, it could come into supply at those highs, but once it retraces, I think you'll have a really good entry to take a position, put your risk versus these highs right here, and then potentially we could see a move to 200 where you'd probably get a pretty good risk reward entry on a trade. If you want to take the position now, totally fine. You can just put your risk versus these highs and take the position here at 152. You're risking about 10 points for 50 points, so still a good risk reward, but I would definitely look to wait for a better entry here because I think you could definitely get a much better entry. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video or it helped you out in some sort of way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, thanks for watching.